All right, I want to give you some quick feedback on your logos. Um, this is Royal Star DJ, and I, I think you, you've done some great work, some nice shape that, that is very communicative with the microphone, the headphones, the crown, the star, the font, I think even works well for this. Um, I'd like to recommend that you simplify. Anything that you don't need, uh, get rid of it. I don't think you need a card. Uh, I understand that royalty and you know the face cards work but uh, I think that's that's too much information also there's a lot of little tiny detail here that we can't even see unless we zoom way in uh, also watch for tangents and a tangent is whenever one shape or one letter approaches an edge uh, so like right here where the headphones are really close to the edge uh, even the point of the star being close to that R right here on the sides of that crown um, also right here on the sides of this star those are all tangents and you want to watch out for those so uh, instead of recording feedback today uh, I opened up uh, this log these logos in Adobe Illustrator and made some and tried to make my own um, logos based on on these ideas uh, and I just want to show you those really quick uh, I just mostly just try to simplify. I tried to get rid of tangents. I tried to keep. Uh, I tried to keep things very communicative and clean and clear. Uh, and I'm not saying that I want you to make your logos like this, uh, but I do want you to make them more simple and uh, clear. Okay, here's the next one. I really like these. I like how simple they are. I like how clean they are. I like how the shapes, the roundness repeats. Um, some really good things. Simple color scheme. Really like that. I like that the title that you put up here doesn't detract from your logos. Your logo should be the things that stand out. So overall, really well done on these. Um, I really like this one. The only problem is that it does have some tangents. See right there, um, a little bit right here, right there, uh, right there. So watch those, even that little corner that pokes up. Uh, really be careful of those areas. Again, nice job on these. I, I don't think the text is, is strong enough on these. I think that, that it could be stronger. This is a nice idea. Uh, the text could really pop out. I can't tell if, this, if you've put four ideas here. Um, also watch out when, whenever you see that there's lots of thin, very thin lines and your logo is made up of thin lines. When you make thin lines small, uh, you, you tend to, things tend to disappear and there's not enough contrast. So really watch that. Uh, I, although I like this idea, I think it, it'll need some more contrast. Something heavy, a heavy shape. And this is a fairly good shape, but I think that the handle should also be part of that shape. I'm not sure what the critical failure handbook is, but I think I like the idea. It looks like maybe it has something to do with gaming. Um, uh, and I like your, your book here. Notice that the, this co these corners aren't quite right. So they, they all need to match the same perspective that you have here. Even these angles are a little bit off. Um, and, and your text needs to work more with your logo. The text here feels like an afterthought. There's a proximity issue where the text, these two words aren't close enough to each other. The title is the thing that's the boldest and it's really drawing attention away from your logos. Um, so, so rethink that and think how you can turn this into an icon. Okay, how can you make the text and the graphic all iconic and all work together in a, a nice gestalt? These are really nice. Uh, I'm not sure about the color schemes. They don't, they don't feel like baseball to me. They, they feel too soft. Um, I don't like that this text is center aligned. I think the, the left aligned text is a lot stronger. Uh, since you've got a curve here, I wonder if you should try a curve on your text. Just a little one, you know, just a slight, slight curve. Uh, you might try refining this and simplifying this. I really like it. I like how communicative it is. So good job on that. It's a great start here on, on these. Uh, again, very communicative. You do have some tangents right there. I would bring these together somehow. Right now, the arrow and the housing 
they, they don't feel like they're a unit. Uh, this is a nice idea, uh, but I, I think it's just the start of the idea. I think it's still a little bit simplistic. Same thing here, uh, but keep pushing this. I, I think you're on the right track. Watch proximity. Notice how the part of this word is so far away that it doesn't feel connected. Uh, wow, these are really good. I, I like these a lot. Um, this almost has, it almost feels like a cookie. And that, I'm sure that's what you're going for. I think it's a little bit too sharp in some places. And maybe some chocolate chips, kind of like you did down here, might, might help it. But this is my favorite one. Um, this is nice, but the colors seem odd. Green and purple don't seem like cookie colors. Um, this is nice too, but it, it's a little simplistic. Uh, I think this is probably your strongest idea. These are all a little bit simplistic. Uh, some real tangent problems, some proximity problems. This basketball is squished. Um, this, I like how simple it is. Uh, it borders on simplistic. What can you do to make it unique? The logo has to be, there's got to be something about it that makes it pop and stand out. And right now, nothing's standing out there. Um, I've talked to you, Victoria, about your logo, so I think I'll just skip this one. You've got some nice things going on. Um, keep pushing on them. Um, same here, a little bit simplistic. It's a good start. You do have some tangents. You have some good contrast. This big S, that's great. Uh, I don't know that it feels like spuds, though. It doesn't feel like Idaho or spuds. So it feels a little bit more like a sports team or something. But do watch the tangents and and think, how am I going to communicate? Oh, it's a baseball club. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, it does feel a little bit more like a baseball club. Um, watch the tangents here. Wherever the, the words overlap each other, you, you get some, some visual tension. Okay, again need strong contrast, need white space, simplify as much as you can without making it simple, do something to make it unique, do something to make the text and the graphic work together. These are really strong, there's great contrast, uh, great, uh, how do I say, it's very communicative. Watch the spacing here, the spacing is really important. All these letters should feel like they're the same amount of space apart. You see how the FR feels like it's farther away from the E um, than it is the F and is anyway the space between the F and R is, is smaller than the space between the R and the E and etc this A is way out in, in left field or right field but very nice overall really really strong some good shapes in there um, there's a good start here I love how simple this is can the text and the graphic work together more can you can you keep this simple and, and move away from the, the simplistic, I guess? Uh, make sure the title doesn't take away from the logos. Uh, see how this size is about the same as that size? Don't, don't do that. I don't mind if you put the title up here in the center either. And then, yeah, text and graphic help them work together. These are nice, simple shapes, but they're bordering on the simplistic. Uh, I don't think the road is working here very well. Um, again, some nice concept, but a, a little simplistic. Uh, the text needs to be stronger. The typography needs to be more a part of the graphic so that it's all iconic. Here, too small. If we put this on a ballpoint pen, your text will totally disappear. Wow, these are really good. Uh, I'd love your text to be stronger, though. Uh, but, yeah, nice job on these shapes. Um, so elegant and, and Nice use of color scheme, simple color scheme, contrast. Uh, don't let this title be the strongest text on your, on your um, project. This should be minimized, and this text needs to pop. Same thing. This text needs to be minimized. These need to pop. These are very hipster-looking logos, um, and I don't mind that. Uh, you should Google um, how to make a hipster logo, and I'm not sure that you'd use that, but um, 
it's it's kind of funny anyway. There there are some good things going on here. There's some tangents up here, so be careful with that. Uh, I like that the sea bleeds out of this black box, so it doesn't feel so trapped. But here it's trapped, and here these words are trapped. So watch that. Um, this is this is a nice idea, but your son is is a little bit simplistic. Um, this is nice hipster, very uh, typical hipster logo, but you want to do something to make it more unique with the, the typography and the graphic. These are really strong. Um, you do have some tangents here that you want to be careful of. Putting a little black shape behind this word, especially where there's uh, a shape like that, that very light outline, uh, that can help um, some, those tangents. This is a great font here. This yellow doesn't work at all on white, on the white background. Uh, this is nice, but the typography doesn't feel unique enough. Uh, but a good start, really, three really strong, um, strong starts. I, I, it looks like the color scheme is, is giving you some fits, and that's okay. For the final, you don't need to worry so much about the color schemes. These are strong DJ logos. They look very uh, DJ-esque. Uh, keep them simple, keep them clean, keep the color scheme simple. If you can eliminate anything, do, uh, but really strong. Uh, nice job here, a little simple. These are a little bit, uh, not too simple, I mean simplistic. These are very similar. You know, for the draft, you, you, sh you should do more brainstorming. Uh, your, your logos are all kind of the same idea. So watch that, watch tangents where things get too close, uh, like right there and right there. Uh, I like these O's, that's, that's creative or unique anyway. Um, this angle looks a little bit off of that, it's the word studios, but it's close. Nice job here. Uh, doesn't feel like a logo yet. I fit things together so that they're, um, so that it's a unit. I like that these are close, but you do have some tangents where things are a little too close. Is there a way you can fit these words in next to each other so they feel like they were designed together instead of one word and then another word uh, just placed there? Uh, these two feel more unique than this one does, uh, but keep pushing that. You're on the, you're on the right track. Um, Pay attention to this shape here. This hanger shape is really important. I think clothes would mostly just slide off of that. You might need just a little bit different shape here. Some good contrast in your text, by the way, at, on this first one and second one. Okay, that's it for the logos.